Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be talking about Torque Pro and your six liter power stroke diesel and the three temperatures that you should be monitoring uh, as you're driving. Uh, this is just like precautionary monitoring of your um, trans temp, coolant temp, and oil temp. Um, I have a dedicated phone that uh, displays that information for me so that whenever I'm driving down the road, I always can keep an eye on those temperatures. It'll help your truck out in the long run and uh, I'll be showing you how to set that up today. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna assume that you have Torque Pro downloaded and you have your uh, Bluetooth OBD2 adapter of choice plugged in. So start up Tor Torque Pro, turn your truck on, and we're waiting for that to connect. Yep, so we have uh, the Bluetooth adapter is communicating with the phone and the vehicle is communicating with the Bluetooth adapter. Uh, so what we wanna do is go to the settings, go down to manage extra PIDs and sensors. And I already have them loaded, but if I didn't, you'd go to the three dots on the upper right, add from predefined set, and then you'd click forward, including power stroke. So now that's all added. And uh, we can go into Torque Pro and set them up. So back to the main menu, go to real time information. And I already have them set up, but say I didn't. Blank screen. You'd hold that, add display. I like the uh, half dial meter, but you can go uh, whatever one you like. And you scroll down to the Ford section. You can see they're all got Ford in the front. And we are looking for engine oil temp. So Ford engine oil temp right there. Uh, small. Set that wherever you like. So now we have an engine oil temp reading. Back to that again, half dial. And for coolant, you can do a Ford specific one, but I found that it doesn't really matter, the Ford one or the generic um, Torque Pro one works fine. So looking for coolant temperature, where might that be? There we go, engine coolant temperature. Right there. And the last one you should be monitoring if you have an automatic transmission is your transmission temp. And that should be down here under the Ford Transmission Fluid Temp Method 2. And there we go. So we have the three, the three temps that we should be monitoring while we're driving. Engine oil, coolant, and trans. Uh, the transmission temp should, um, I believe, stay around 150 to 160 unloaded while you're cruising. Uh, it can get up to about 190, but anything over that, you should probably back off and uh, let it cool down. Coolant temp, um, when I'm cruising unloaded, mine's around 190. Uh, I believe the top upper limit that you should be sustained is about 220. If you see it climb over there, climb over 220, you should probably back off. Engine oil temp is about 10 to 15 degrees above coolant temp. So your engine oil temp should be like 230 tops, maybe 235. If you see that it's higher than 15 degrees over your coolant temperature, you may have a clogged engine uh, oil cooler. And that is a concern with the six O's because the outlet of the oil cooler, the coolant outlet of the oil cooler goes right to your EGR. And if your EGR is not getting the coolant flow that it needs, then your hot exhaust gases will um, eventually wear it out and it'll rupture and you'll be leaking coolant right into your exhaust. You'll be, lo you'll be losing coolant, burning it, and that will wreak all sorts of havoc on your engine. So here's my setup as I'm driving. Uh, this is a cheap Android phone from about four or five years ago. I I believe it's like a ZTE Max Pro or something. You can probably get them for fairly cheap. Uh, I got my charger cable going down to the charger so that this is always topped off. 
and it's pretty much just like this. You can keep an eye on all three of my fluid temps, um, but really I usually run them, uh, run this screen. This has a lot more like diagnostics, uh, di diagnostic PIDs loaded. Uh, these really only come into play if you have issues with your truck, but uh, if your truck is running fine and you just want to monitor temperatures while you're driving, these three are really all you need. So if you are using your phone or you have a spare Android phone, you could literally be monitoring your temperatures for $15 to $30 depending on how expensive of a Bluetooth to OBD2 adapter you buy. Uh, Torque Pro is, I don't remember off the top of my head, $6 or $10. Uh, so really, it's it's fairly cheap. I would highly recommend it. These trucks are sensitive to temperatures, and if you're pulling a lot of weight going up a steep grade, it is pretty handy to know when to back off and give the truck a rest. The temp gauge on the dashboard is pretty slow to respond, and uh, typically by the time you're in the red on your temperature gauge, it's kind of too late. You may have done some damage already. So I hope this helps some of you 6.0 owners out there. Um, if you take care of your truck, you monitor your temperatures, your truck will take care of you and you'll have a lot of trouble-free miles of use. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.